Hi everyone, this is 16mm DJ again, and um, this is just to show you my newest find and my new toy. So, um, here it is. This is my, this is what it came in. This is a, uh, ugly as looking, ugly looking pouch thing, camera bag. And then when you open this, look what we find inside. Polaroid SX-70, so... No, sorry, I'm a little sick. Let me toss this thing on the ground, because everyone hates an ugly 70s looking bag. And let's look at the interesting thing. So here's the SX-70 itself in folded form, of course. And um, let me just give you a quick tour of it. This is the uh, viewfinder cap, so that pops up when you um, open it. That's only, that's only the uh, viewfinder cap open. But um, here, when we come around the front, front, we see this little plug. That is for the flash unit. And when we come around the side, it's pretty blank. And uh, on the back, there's nothing except in the corner here, we have a little number counter. So, excuse me, as we uh, use pictures and we take pictures, it will, um, it will count down the numbers. It will tell you, tell you how many you have left or how many you've taken. I don't remember exactly what it is. But um, to open it, this is kind of tricky, so I'll have to put this down on something and then show you. But you, uh, let me see if it looks... Alright, so to open it, you put it in your hand, you grab this, and then you pull it up. Is that cool or what? So, uh, here's the camera. It's locked in this little, with this little lever thingy here. Here's the front of the camera. And, um, right here we have the shutter. And, uh, on the lens, you control the focus by spinning this little guy right here, that little wheel. And that controls the focusing. You can focus from infinity down to 10 inches. Here we have the, um, light and darkness control. And you turn it to the light to make the, I think it's to the right, to the light side to make the print lighter, and then to the dark side to make it darker. I could be wrong. If anyone uh, wants to correct me on that, go ahead. And, um, Polaroid SX-70 land camera. So this is the classic version, not the alpha or the, uh, the super business executive or whatever, or the white version or whatever it is. This is the original. This is the very first SX-70. And, um, what's the word they use? In integral or something like that? The first type of camera that they use the integral print, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, first one to use those weird uh, prints that have the the uh, space at the bottom of the image for the uh, pod of of goop of developing fluid to be in. So um, this is kind of interesting. I found that um, the way that it spits out the image, or the uh, developed the to be developed image, is it it goes out of this flap here, which is a little weird. But anyway. Uh, Let's see, I gave you a little quick view of the front. On the side, there's that locking lever that I showed you. On the back, there are some uh, words, and they're a little hard to read, but um, I'll read them to you. I think they're different on different cameras, but this says uh, Polaroid SX-70, uh, Polaroid R, uh, SX-70 land camera, Polaroid Cor Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, made in USA, and use Polaroid SX-70 land film and flash, use flash bar. Uh, that's all it says. And, um, I'll, I'll let you look through the viewfinder. Let me focus this real fast on that, on that thingy right there. But, just a second, I'm focusing. Alright, so, let me see if I can... Right there, you can sort of see it. It's a little tricky to do. Uh, that is difficult. Uh, right out of there, that's just about perfect. Um, anyway, the light path, the path that the light takes when it enters this camera is kind of interesting. It's, it's a, um, unlike most, uh, here, let me go grab my other one. Just hold on just a second, okay? Uh, yes! Okay. My mom's yelling at me to go to bed. But, um, let me just go this real fast. So here's a, uh, one step. Uh... It's a little bit different. SX-70 is a tiny bit smaller. And, uh, of course, the one step has a big honking flash dealio up there. So the uh, difference between an SLR and a range finder, um, that, just to explain to newbies and stuff, is SLR stands for single lens reflex. And that means instead of having two lenses like this one does, one is for the film and one is for the viewfinder, it has only one, and the way it accomplishes this is um, when you're taking a picture, it'll get into what they call 
uh, picture taking mode, or it might be called something else, but the light path and the camera, there's a, there's a permanent mirror here, and on the bottom there's a Fresnel lens, uh, not a lens, a, um, oh god, what are they called? A Fresnel surface mirror thingy, and, um, so then there's a, another mirror up here, and that bounces the light into the viewfinder. So what happens is, light enters through here, and then it bounces off this permanent mirror, and then that bounces down onto the um, the Fresnel lens, Fresnel, uh, excuse me, mirror, and um, will bounce up again to hit that same mirror, the f same permanent mirror, it will then bounce into the uh, con, is it con, yeah, it's concave mirror, and then that will serve, that will focus it in space right about here, and then you can, uh, you look at that with the, uh, I don't know what this mirror is called, the viewfinder mirror, uh, excuse me, lens. And um, anyway, what happens is when it takes, when it, f when it, uh, when you're uh, taking the picture, when you press the shutter button, what happens is uh, the mirror with the uh, Fresnel mirror on the back will flip up, and the um, shutter will open, uh, and it'll actually reflect the image onto the pack of film, which is going to be under here. And um, let me just open this real fast to show you what I have in here. Let's see if I can really accomplish this. Uh, there we go. So, uh, there's an old pack of film from like the 70s or the 80s or something. If I pull it out, uh, go away, watch that, nobody likes you anymore. Um, if I pull this guy out, a little tricky. There's the old pack of film right there. And, uh, that, that battery on that is dead, it's completely gone. And, um, inside, and then you have the rollers here. And that's basically it. It's really neat. It's a really cool little Polaroid camera that I found. And uh, here, watch how it folds flat. You kick this guy in, then you... Beautiful. Uh, it's kind of big, actually. Like, uh, I have a large hand, so... Yeah, I can pick it up with one hand, but it's kind of big. So it's hunky, big, beautiful machine. Um, but anyway, I thought you guys would find that interesting. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing many, many videos recently. I've been doing a lot of schoolwork. But, um, yeah, anyway, if you got any questions, just leave a comment and stuff. And uh, I'll be posting this on YouTube as soon as I can. Uh, so, yeah, bye.